Labs athlete Stephanie Sanzo here and today I'm going to be taking you through three exercises I personally use to warm up my glutes before a workout. This is something I used to struggle with uh, prior in my earlier days of weight training. I could never get that um, glute activation. I used to, it used to go straight to my lower back and I used to get back pain and feel no glutes. So this has really helped me in my own journey be able to uh, switch those on and really activate them during my training. So stay tuned, I'm going to take you through three exercises, really super easy, all you need is a resistance band, so um, let's do it. So what I'm going to do now is what I call a clam, I don't actually call it a clam, but it is a clam. I'm going to show you how to do that, so you're going to lie down on the ground on your side and you're going to be rotating your leg in and out. So by doing the clam it's going to activate your glute med here on the side, so make sure that when you are doing it, doing it you really open up wide. You want to aim to do about 20 on each side just to really pump the blood in the area. By warming up your hips and your glute meds, it's going to help you uh, with your squats, get into a nice low position and be able to turn out. It's going to help you with um, you know, things like lunges because of your hip flexors, all those kind of things that are you know, stepping and opening. So getting all of this nice and warm is probably the best way to uh, avoid any injuries and muscle soreness. Next we're going to be doing a donkey kickback. This is relative to the glute max. The aim here is to keep your arms nice and straight, hold that core in nice and tight, and then kick back towards the walls. You don't want to kick up, just kick back and straight. The last exercise, I'm going to be doing the hip thrust. I'm going to leave the band on for this one once again. Aim here is to activate not only the side meads here, the glute meads, but the glute max as well. So it's going to give you the best of both worlds and really assist you when you do actually load your hips with the barbell later on for your glute workout to get that full activation. For this one you want to do about 20. I reckon when I get to about 12 I can really start to feel the burn. So just stick with it and uh, get through it because you're doing all the right things if you can feel the blood in there pumping. All you need is a resistance band. These come in many different shapes, forms, materials. Get what one's best for you. No band is better than the other, as long as you're getting that activation. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. I hope this helps you in your training. Let me know if it has and what you thought about it. Drop a comment below. Like the Primeval Labs page. They're doing great things and I'm on here all the time, so I appreciate your support. And I'll catch you guys really soon.